All right, so we got top 10 scariest jump scares in Resident Evil games. Let's video. Let's go. So we finally meet. Hello. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we'll be counting down Watch our Mojo, top bye bye. 10 jump scare moments in the Resident Evil series. Ooh. Bro, okay, that's not even Okay, that's not even cool. That's not even cool. Who was that? So this list will be that LeBron? The scariest moments across the Resident Evil video games. Let us know in the comments which one made you jump out of your skin. All right. Number Shout out to Watch Mojo. Birkin's Claws. Birkin. Resident Evil 2. Oh my. Bro, that's not even like. The second time you have to face Birkin in the remake is, without a doubt, one of the most memorable encounters. Bro, he's just punching him. through, the, through the roof. Once you the power back on in the sewers, Birkin will know exactly where you are, and he'll make his presence apparent. This man is legit punching through the roof. Ceiling to grab you. He also manages to set the whole room on fire for good measure, and paces around upstairs for quite a while until finding the door. After that, the only way out of the room is to go right past him. A tense and difficult battle is made even more frightening by Birkin assaulting you from above. Oh my! Look at the school threat! Look at this! Run, run, run! Oven Man. Oven Man. Resident Evil 4. Thank God. Leon is exploring yet another disgusting kitchen when he comes across something ominous. An oven slightly cleaner than everything that else man in the is room. cooking right now you can take literally in the horror of seeing something that isn't totally rancid in a resident evil game a flaming Ganado that's horror oh my god this man leon is on fire towards leon he's pretty easy to kill but only if you're actually able to aim your gun which you might not be able to do during the adrenaline rush this moment will give you yeah leon we want to know what the zombie was doing in there too but that zombie was it's just cooking bro it's just cooking. Number eight, Cabin in the Woods, Resident Evil. This location was added to the 2002 remake to ensure that the wait, that was a jump scare. The around the Spencer Mansion was just as spine chilling as the rest of the game because it was new. Even seasoned veterans of the first few games had no idea what to expect from the creepy cabin. But once inside, after you've navigated the entire maze-like building you'll encounter Lisa Trevor when she knocks you unconscious with absolutely no warning. Ooh. Far, Lisa is one of the freakiest monsters you'll come across in the first game, and at this early oh. point, you're left with no option but to run away. Run away? No, I gotta shoot. Forget. Oh! You gotta shoot Number that. Seven. How you been? Oh, Resident Biohazard. Seven, Biohazard. Where are you? There's no slow burn in Resident Evil 7. You're thrown into some of the game's scariest parts right away as soon as Ethan is left. This loose is like in the, the scariest house. Resident Evil game Though to me, I'm gonna be honest. If you initially think you've given Jack the slip, you'll be sorely mistaken. While running down a long hallway, Jack will bust through the wall right in front of you, forcing you to turn on your heels and head in the opposite direction. Oh my god. Don't waste your time on me. Especially because you're led to believe that Jack is behind you all the while, only for him to appear dead ahead of wielding an enormous axe. And then he pursues Ethan relentlessly Run. for the entire shoot. Of the first shoot. act. Shoot, 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 shoot. Number six, Chopper Down. Chopper Down. Resident Evil 2. Oh, uh, okay. That's. That wasn't. It's the moment we were all waiting for when the Resident Evil that 2 wasn't remake scary. That, that wasn't bad. When would Leon and Claire first encounter Mr. X? Just as soon as a chopper that crashes man is, down into he the built like LeBron. The station, it would seem. Ooh. In the original game, Mr. X is airdropped into the station from a different chopper and simply walks around the corner to greet the player. But in the remake, he lifts up the down chopper and comes straight for you. That man is built like LeBron. For all the new players, the blockbuster remake attracted, who were taken even more by surprise. Bro, I'm lighting that guy up. I can't no lie. Of jump scares when he appears, but the first time is more memorable. Number five, nice to meet you. Don't Maybe. waste your time on me. The very first gameplay oh. demo released for Resident Evil Village ended with a bang. After oh. around half an hour of wandering through the small sections of Castle Dimitrescu, you'll finally be able to work out an escape plan once you find the courtyard key. 
The only thing standing between the Lone Maiden and Freedom is seemingly one of the vampiric daughters in the main hallway. But once you get past her, you'll finally be greeted with Lady Dimitrescu herself when she pushes the doors open right as you're unlocking them, grabbing and killing the Maiden with her giant claws. Oh. Oh! So we finally meet. Oh, yes, we did! Number four, first encounter, Resident Evil 3. Okay. You okay? Is everything, is everything okay? encounter with Mr. X comes a few hours into Resident Mr. Evil Mr. X? 2, but that's not the case for the next game. The original Resident Evil 3 was subtitled Nemesis because of the Nemesis's constant pursuit of... Look at him walking Valentine, through the fire like Darth Vader! Capcom stuck to that for the remake. Nemesis arrives in the scene as soon as the game begins, destroying Jill's apartment first and her entire apartment building second. All right, let me grab my... Ooh! It burns down and totally collapses. This man Finally punched through the wall! In his tracks, for a while, at least. He's never too far away, and this explosive jump scare and chase sequence primes you to expect him around every corner. Number three, Mutated Marguerite. Oh no. Resident Evil 7. Oh no. Biohazard. Oh no. Come on now with me. We're gonna settle this. If you Shoot him. Jack kill him. Shoot him. Bad, Shoot him. You gotta, you you gotta kill him. Life. Marguerite is a creepy character from the beginning. Perhaps the creepiest of all the bakers. You gotta Just kill him. Saying something. But when you finally encounter her as an antagonist, things take a turn for the worse. Kill her! Summer, kill her! Ethan kill her! thinks he's defeated her pretty early on, only for her to mutate into a spider-like creature surrounded by swarms of insects. Yeah. You finally yeah. see her in all her glory when she crashes through a boarded-up window at the top of the stairs, grabbing Ethan with her freaky new arms and forcing him to fight his way free. Number two, shoot the water, Resident Evil 4. Oh, I know this. Oh, I know this. Never shoot the water. You know why? You can totally miss this jump scare if you don't shoot the water. Yep, which is come exactly here. exactly what the game tells you to do numerous times. Yeah. But if you're not put off by that, or if you're achievement hunting, then you probably emptied Leon's yeah, I, clip I know in this the one. lake. When you do this, you come face to face with Del Lago. With the Loch Ness Monster. A mutated salamander that lives in the lake and devours anybody who tries to cross it. Though you do see Del Lago kill someone before this happens, nothing prepares you for the speed and ferocity. The speed of the is crazy. Look, launches itself look at, at that speed. Like you saying, "Boom!" You're over here. Yeah, it's bro. It's over. You are dead. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our subscribe channel. Subscribe to watch. Oh, no, subscribe to me too as well. If you guys videos. haven't already, <laughs> only if you want to. Fight <laughs> for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to You did? You subscribed? Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, honestly, though, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers, though. Honestly, for real. It means a lot, man. Thank you all so much, man. Oh, this ain't scary. Jill, run for that house. You don't know true fear. Oh, my. Never mind. Walk through a hallway in the Spencer Mansion. Never mind. And had two dogs Those dogs are. No. At you. The game's prologue already showed the Stars team getting harassed by dogs in the woods, but if you thought you were safe when you got inside, you were sorely mistaken. A dog shatters the window and starts pursuing you, yep. only to be joined by a I'm second coming. dog as soon as yep. you turn the corner. You've either got to fight the dogs or escape into the next room. This and dog is tanking all types of bullets. And how annoying Resident Evil dogs are in general, you'll definitely want to cut and run. Come here! Get him, Ralph. <laughs> Ralph and Ernie. In the mood for more awesome. Shout out to Watch Mojo. Uh, watch so ooh, I'm sorry. Watch Mojo. I'm so sorry. I'm over here fumbling and jumbling my words. But listen, real quick before I go. The dogs in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and like the old one, like in the uh, 2011 or 2012 one, uh, those dogs, uh, yeah, I was I was horrified by those dogs to, to the point to where like I wouldn't even play like um, – I wouldn't even play like um, like Call of Duty. What was it? Uh, survivor mode. Oh my goodness gracious! And uh, I think they would come, they would come like wave. Not sorry, not wave. This isn't zombies. They would come at at around like round like three or whatever. And oh my god, those dogs! When you hear them in your ears as you're running, whatever. Not only do you have the dogs, you have the the, the suicide bombers. You have the juggernauts. You have um, 
Oh my god, you have like the like the um like the regular soldiers or whatever, but like they have like a lot of armor on. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. Those dogs, bro. Whenever they would get they would get on you, whatever, you would have to like uh hurry up and press B before they like before like they bite your neck and stuff. It was ridiculous, bro. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? Shout out to everybody you know who's who subscribed to the channel and stuff like that. Honestly, they, I've said listen, I said it a thousand times. Thank you guys so much for five thousand five thousand people subscribed to the channel. It's crazy if you think about it that way. So. Thank you guys so much, man. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on anything. Uh, it's going to work out in the future. And you guys are just proving me right, you know, as I said it. Because I've been doing this YouTube thing for a long time. And you guys are actually, you know, coming through, helping your boy out, you know. And, and whoever, I never thought, you know, I don't want to get emotional or whatever. I don't want to get, you know, deep. But I never thought, you know, I will ever, like, you know, get something like this. So thank you guys so much. I, you know, I, I enough of that savvy talk, okay? Enough of that little, enough of that, you know, that, that emotional stuff. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate it. See you guys later for the next one out.